Good day, ladies and gentlemen. Does it snow where you live? Every year, the Hokkaido University campus is blessed with blankets of wonderful snow. Under magnification, snow has a beautiful crystal structure. In 1936, Hokkaido University professor Ukichiro Nakaya succeeded in creating the world's first artificial snow. Professor Nakaya referred to snowflakes as letters from the sky. Because they provide information on upper atmospheric conditions. In recent years, major changes have taken place in cold regions where picturesque snow falls. This slide shows satellite images indicating changes in the extent of Arctic sea ice. Sea ice is produced each winter and melts in summer. A dramatic decrease in the amount of sea ice was seen in the summer of 2007 and 2012. This graph shows annual changes in the area of sea ice during summer. We knew global warming would reduce the area of sea ice, but it's quite alarming to find that this is happening much faster. Than researchers had initially expected. What will happen if there is less sea ice? Ecosystem will change. The effects could also change you and our dietary habits. Creatures living in relatively warm waters will move to polar regions, which may cause global changes in marine species distribution. Substantial loss of the polar sea ice will have significant economic impact too. Ship will be able to navigate the Arctic Ocean for more of the year. This will change trade routes between countries in Europe and the Pacific Rim, which will have a significant impact on the economies of many countries. Mining of natural gas, petroleum. And other resources was previously impossible in this ice bound region, but it will become possible when the ice is gone. The Arctic region is thought to contain a significant amount of the world's untapped resources. So it's feared that increased economic activity will further increase CO2 emissions and accelerate global warming. What's wrong with global warming? The problem is that we cannot predict how, where, or how quickly things will change. The Arctic region is one of the places in the world to see the impact of global warming most obviously. So, studies of this region will help to clarify how the Earth as a whole might change and how. We should deal with it. Against this background, we opened Arctic Research Center in April 2015. Hokkaido University has been one of the world leaders in cold region research. So, this establishment is intended to help us to conduct pioneering and comprehensive studies on Arctic regions. The center's work. Is based on the concept of collaboration. RKHU brings together experts in various fields, including those of natural science, humanities, social science, and applied science to address Arctic region problems through collaboration. To date, Hokkaido University has helped to promote. Research collaboration through the establishment of branch offices for international research projects to benefit the global environment. On the ocean floors and across land areas, we now also serve as an international base for research on sea areas. This enables Hokkaido University to play a part 
is the Future Earth Project, a major international research initiative to respond effectively to global environmental change and global sustainability. Lastly, let me tell you a little about GIFT. The Support Sustainability Declaration of 2008 was behind the birth of GIFT. Representatives of 27 major universities around the world gathered in Sapporo, where Hokkaido University's main campus is located, and made this declaration stating, universities should serve as a driving force in the development of a sustainable society. Since then, Hokkaido University has engaged in a variety of initiatives to help to create a sustainable society. GIFT is one of these initiatives. It provides discussion opportunities for those who will shape the future. I invite all young people to join us and consider how you and our sustainable society can be created as we face the risks associated with accelerated global warming. Thank you.